Yeah, but as I was saying about, look, of all the diseases which afflict the human race, only a, ha only a small percentage can be actually vaccinated again because they're viruses. But there's many, many, many diseases that you can't get vaccinations for because it's, it's the wrong model. You can't get vaccinated, vaccinated for, against bacterial diseases. You can't get vaccinated against parasitic infections. You can't get vaccinated against uh, human against against human morbidity. You can't you can't get vaccinated against a broken leg. You can't get vaccinated against diarrhea or food poisoning or um, you know toxic against um. Toxic shock, you can't get vaccinated against a lot of things. Um, now, you can't get vaccinated against malaria. Okay, now, malaria is one of these things that kills millions of people a year in the world, mainly children. And uh, the best you can do if you're traveling in the tropics is get prophylaxis. That is to say, you can take quinine before you go and hopefully you'll be protected if you get bitten but if you stop taking quinine you're no longer protected because it's prophylaxis and it's not inoculation you don't have immunity because it's, it's a it's a back it's a it's a parasite um now there's many many parasitic illness parasitic illnesses in say the third world which kill millions of people which you can't vaccinate against and you never will be able to and they are prevalent because of poor public health procedures and poor public health institutions and poverty. Um, now, now, this, I mean, there was for decades and generations a handful of childhood diseases like measles, mumps, rubella, polio, chickenpox. And there's a handful of them, which they've inoculated people against. And um, there hasn't been that much controversy about it, um, you would have thought. But, but the, the thing is, one of the things is that this new rapid growth in vaccination, because the, the vaccine industry has started inventing or discovering all these new diseases that... Um, you have to get vaccinated for. I mean, there's flu shots and yeah, um, swine flu and Zika, and it's endless. They keep on making up stuff because they're trying to make money. Now, even the diseases, <coughs> the childhood diseases like whooping cough, which people used to get, they weren't fatal. Measles isn't fatal. One in a hundred thousand people get measles, dies of it, or, or is maimed by it. Um, I mean, doctors are very vociferously for vaccination, but but I mean, you know, society isn't being told the truth. Is <clears throat> one of the things that the vaccine industry is trading on is people's just fear of death. I mean, you can't. I mean, you can't, <clears throat> I mean, polio and all that, the number of people who were actually killed and maimed by it was a very small percentage of the actual people who got it. Um, uh, and many of the, I mean, the horror story diseases of like the Black Death, bubonic plague, which could kill a third of the population. Wipe out half the population. This is one of these horror story, horror film type diseases that vaccine um, propaganda is always referring to, or, or just, it's always trying to conjure up these terrors. But I mean, you can't get a vaccine for bubonic plague. I mean, if we had public health, poor public health and poor sanitation in Europe and in the West like they did in the Middle Ages, then bubonic plague could make a comeback. And you, um, and you still, to this day, cannot, um, uh, you can't um, 
it's very hard to treat, and it's and it's, you can't get a vaccine for it. And the other, I mean, there's smallpox. You know, smallpox could wipe out the population, um, and it's a virus. But they don't, you know. But smallpox was eradicated decades ago, and if they don't give people, they don't give people vaccines for smallpox anymore. Um, uh, so the question, I mean, there's this idea of you know horrible plagues that you could wipe out the population, but I mean, but they're not being honest because I mean, as I'm saying, a lot of horrible plagues. You can't get vaccinated for anyway, <clears throat> and um, uh, <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> really, I mean, one of the things that the vaccine industry is trading on is is fear, and people's just fear of death, and they're just. I mean, but they can't take away the risks. Vaccines. If you get the vaccine, vaccine anyone. I guess the disease you, you can't take away risk. People traveling, the, you know, traveling overseas, they can get a lot of diseases. They could die. Um, sure, but that's just—it's always been. That's the way it's always been. And vaccines won't change that at all. And <clears throat> I mean, that's the vaccine industry. It seems to have got the whole public as a whole believing that they are magicians who can sell you a magic potion which will protect you from harm. Uh, but they haven't really explained the, um, you know, it, that's, you know, it, it doesn't apply. It's, it's, it's not, it's not that, that's, it's not, that's not the thing. It is. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I mean, now this ghoulish, what has arisen is this ghoulish um, tendency for Western governments to start mandating vaccines and forbidding people to go to public schools if they haven't been vaccinated or preventing them from getting government assistance if they haven't been vaccinated. This ghoulish thing where they're trying to force people to be vaccinated. Um, I mean, that, that's... That's just monstrous. I mean, because we've always had, I mean, the vaccine in the 20th century, there was always a, a truce between people who wanted to be vaccinated and people who didn't. And the people who didn't were conscientious objectors and they just didn't get vaccinated. And their kids got measles. And their kids maybe got mumps. And their kids maybe got whooping cough, you know. Unfortunate, but you know we're talking about really rare diseases anyway, and diseases that are rare enough and rarely fatal. And um, so, <clears throat> you know, vaccines have always been about personal choice because every vaccine has a trade-off, a risk between vaccine damage, and which is real. And in the whole, throughout the entire 20th century, they were putting mercury into marisol in vaccines and not telling anybody. And there's there's a there's an actual risk associated with vaccination, and there's a risk associated with being getting sick. Now it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off that <clears throat> then then every 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 human being you know has to has to evaluate for themselves and their children. Now the government says, well, you know, taking parents can't decide for their children. But all they're saying is the government can decide for the children. So they want to take away the parents' choice, but they want to impose what they want, which is what some corporation is paying them to want, frankly. And so um, this brings us to the reality of the government vaccine health circus, where the government basically decided it wanted mandatory vaccination and it told corporations to make manufacture vaccines but the vaccines turned around and made the government give them complete liability complete immunity to liability so they 
the government agreed that they had to take, the government itself had to take on the liability for vaccine injuries to children, and the industry itself was was free from any kind of lawsuit. Now, what that's done is it's basically I mean that's just like communist central planning. I mean if if you get a communist government which just tells a communist corporation to make a product and they're just going to be paid for the product. It's a no-bid contract for a, de a, con a device or something which um, there's no competition and no bidding and there's no I mean and there's no there's no if there's sloppy work done if, if the corporation makes sh does shonky work or makes dangerous um, makes dangerous products that injure the consumer the, the government well the, the, the government you would have thought is liable um, but there's no in the communist system there's no there's no motivation at all to make safe safe effective quality products because you're going to get paid anyway no matter what you do um, and that is something that's frankly plagued the um, the vaccine industry is I mean there's this there's the academics there's the academics in immunology who are very often wonderful people brilliantly educated highly motivated idealistic wonderful people who um who are but unfortunately these people live in a um in an ivory tower and they can make the most effective vaccine known to man and they can give the formula to the company and the company can go and put whatever it likes in the vaccines. They can do the formula the academic gives them and they can put whatever they whatever else they like in it, you know, mercury, um, anything, um, heavy metals, um, shit, piss, I like they used to, like, you know, like quack doctors used to put in ditch water, I mean, <laughs> there's no... I mean, there's, there's no motivation for them to make a quality product. They're going to get paid no matter what they do. Um, so, so, in this environment where the, the vaccine companies just operate without let or hindrance and immune, immune from any liability, um, why doesn't an ordinary parent, an ordinary consumer, have a choice about whether they they want this risk for themselves or their children. Um, I mean, the, the list of vaccines is growing longer and longer, but the, the list of diseases isn't really getting longer and longer. Um, there's still the same old, same old handful of chicken pox and things that they've always been there. Um, uh, so. And you have like a vaccine industry which basically is like profit profiteering cowboys who have no concern at all for the health of the consumer. And so much so, even if you, I mean this isn't even a conspiracy theory, you buy a vaccine at the chemist and you take out a piece of paper that's in the box and you read it and it is a disclaimer. <laughs> it's a disclaimer that says this product will not cure or prevent any disease. And, you know, um, anyone who uses this vaccine does so entirely at their own risk. And <laughs> but that's the small print that no one reads. And, yeah, the, 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 the mainstream media is running this absurd, um, like, kind of witch hunt against anti-vaccine deniers, Holocaust deniers. Like who are some kind of strange, dirty, uneducated hillbillies with dirty, smelly children who, who refuse to be vaccinated because they're, you know, they believe in, you know, they're just uneducated uh, peasants. 
Um, but the thing is, there's this hate campaign being waged by the mainstream media, um, which, um, I mean, it, it's so intense. It's like, it's a lot like the hate campaign waged against um, Lindy Chamberlain. <laughs> you know, like, sacrifice and the will and act. Like, it's, it's that crazy. It's that insane. And it's that illogical. I mean, uh, I mean, if people are vaccinated, what fear do they have of disease? I mean, do vaccines work or not? Um, and people can ask these basic questions and they're shouted down by this, um, these insincere people and in such an environment why would anyone let some nut job put some dangerous experimental um, toxic vaccine in their kids arm who would take that risk for their beautiful children um, Thanks.